everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is coach Mireen and I'm happy that you're here if you like what you see today please please don't forget to like comment and please subscribe to the channel I'm trying to grow so please help me to do so bars so today's Memorial Day I normally start my challenge video I normally start my videos on a Sunday but this week we're starting on Monday we're starting on a holiday um, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit I'm about to go to the supermarket and pick up some fish the forbidden fish I'm getting some tilapia Ooh, because <laughs> um, we're gonna be grilling today and I'm gonna grill some tilapia I make it really tasty I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna um, just grab a few things from the supermarket and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Let's go. See when I ride up Bumble. It's fake you. One time. One time, one time, one time. Stand up. One time, one time. Spot. Bag lady, you gon' hurt your back. Dragon all them bags like that. I guess nobody ever told you how you must hold on to. It's you, it's you, it's you. We are in week seven. I don't know if I said that at the beginning of this video, but just in case I didn't. Hi, my name is Coach Meereen, and I am documenting my journey to lose 40 pounds. I am now in week seven. So far, I've lost 20.2 pounds, so I'm halfway there. I'm not giving myself a time limit on how long it's going to take to lose the 40 pounds because I want to do it in a healthy way, eating whole foods, working out, being consistent, and of course, drinking my water. So, I'm going to show you guys what I got for lunch. Don't laugh at my lunch because it's not anything pretty, but it tastes good. Okay? So today, hi, I have tilapia here now this tilapia is kosher tilapia so i'm guessing that that means it's not the one the horror story that we've seen on social media and i stuffed it with some spinach peppers and my secret sauce that i'm not telling you <laughs> um it's delicious like it might not look so tasty or whatever but it tastes really good and then i just have I had two more um, jerk chicken wings that I made, and I'm going to eat those before they're no good. Um, so I don't waste no food, so I'm about to eat those, and I have a piece of fish. And that's lunch. This has some veggies, and then we got a little extra protein, and that's it. Excuse me. And then I'm going to just drink some water and keep it moving. Is that my baby? Yeah, so that's what I'm about to do. I'm working from home today. So after I eat, I'm going to prep dinner. I'm making some curry chicken and um, steamed cabbage as the side. I love Jamaican cuisine. So you will see a lot of the reoccurring themes over here. So I am a big, a lot of people like that are Caribbean or African. And I'm saying African because... I've met, of course, I've, you know, dealt with people, clients from different African countries. That's why I'm just saying the continent of Africa. Um, that in our cultures, which is, you know, partly, not, not partly, mainly due to the colonizers, um, we all frequent carbs. Like we do a lot of 
well, in Africa, there's a lot of, um, oh my gosh, what's it called? Fufu. And um, in like Jamaican culture and a lot of the West Indian cultures, rice is a huge thing. Also in a lot of Spanish countries as well. I mean, Hispanic countries as well. There's a lot of rice, a lot of carbs, heavy carbs. So when I started my journey, I was like, I don't want to have to give up my cultural foods, but I need to find a different way to eat them because me eating rice every day is only expanding my waistline. It's not helping me at all. So I figured out how to do that. So I still make my foods, but I just change the sides so that I can still enjoy the foods I love. I know some of you are like, uh -uh, I can't give up rice. Well, the way that I look at it and the way the things that I have to tell myself is you don't have to give up rice. I can eat rice every once in a while, but if I'm eating rice every day, it's just not serving my goals, right? So it's all about choice and what you want to do for you and how you want to live. I want to live in my best physical health. So I got to make, I had to make the changes. I'm, that's all I can say. I mean, if you, some people argue me down, they argue me down, girl. And they're like, uh-uh, because I had went to a nutritionist and they said, and they did, and they were, da 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 Yeah, but you're still not seeing the goals you want. So you got to get real with yourself and make the real change. Like, it's point blank, period. There is no way around it, okay? You cannot. You have to change your diet, okay? Take it from me, a girl who works out very consistently since 2017. And it wasn't until I looked myself in the mirror and said, hey, you girl, we got to get back to how you were eating before the pandemic, period. And since I've done that, the weight is coming off. And I was working out. So you can work out all you want. You can, mod what is it? What's the famous word? Modify your diet or eat in moderation. But what is moderation? Are you weighing your food? No. You're just doing it by eyesight. And your eyesight might be bigger than your stomach. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. We have got to change the diet. It, may, it might seem extreme, but if you want extreme results and you really want to lose the weight and we're not getting any younger. I'm 45 years old. I'm not getting any younger. But anywho... Let's taste this food, and I'm going to get off my soapbox. Everybody is entitled to do what they, they think is right for their body. But I'm just telling you from experience, someone that comes from a family with diabetics and high blood pressure and all of the things, obesity, blah, blah, blah. The only way that I've been able to truly see results is when I changed my diet, stopped eating those heavy carbs, stopped, started cutting the sugar out of my diet. The weight is peeling off. It's coming off. It's coming off. So, you know, you can make your choices. You can do what you would like to do, what you feel is best for you. Or you can make the real hard decision to truly change your diet. And with that, mm, watch this. <laughs> Hello. All right. I'm going to go eat. And then... I'll holler. Next time you guys will see me, it's probably, is is when I'm doing my cardio before my live workout, which is at 7 p.m. live Monday through Thursdays. If you want to, if you want to work out with your girl, go ahead and sign up. The link is in the description box of this video. Sign up, take a few classes with me, and I guarantee once you take a few, you're going to come back for more. Hello. Talk to y'all later. Bye. <sighs> Hello. So I'm back. You see where I am. I already started my jumps. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of this just for accountability purposes. Um, again, if you want to do some cardio, step up your cardio a little bit and not just like walk, even though walking is great and you are able, get a jump rope and start jumping. Start small, start small, and then uh, work your way up. I do, right now, I do 100 jump intervals. 
So I just completed 250 jumps. I my started. I started um, with 150 because I'm doing 750 jumps. So we owe the bank some plank jacks, and we're gonna do those right now. Happy Thursday. Oh, no, today's Wednesday. <laughs> oh no, where's my phone? There. It is very sunny. You can't, I don't know if you guys can even see me, but happy Wednesday. We are on our way to work. Going into the office today. I'm actually about to be at work in like two minutes. <laughs> um, there was a little traffic for no reason, I don't really, I think the road was closed or something, I don't know. But, it cleared up pretty quick. I mean, traffic in this neck of the woods is nothing <laughs> like traffic in New York. So when I say traffic, I always say, a little light traffic, cause uh, we don't know traffic out here. Go to New York and sit on the Belt Parkway, okay? So today I have some curry chicken and steamed cabbage. Now I ate this for dinner last night. Delicious. So, 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 so tasty. So I'm about to smash this right now. I'm going to taste it on camera and then I'm going to go. So I can eat my food and watch mess on YouTube. See? This is curry chicken and steamed cabbage. Oh my God. One thing about it, for somebody that hates cooking, I could sure cook. This is delicious. All right. Bye. <sighs> All right, we're home. As you can see, I'm in my attire for class. I'm about to do my pre-class cardio, and then we got class at seven o'clock. Tonight is Work It Wednesday. On Wednesday, I like a Caribbean theme with my playlist. So tonight we fetin. All my all my 
um, Trinidadian massive big up on yourself we're gonna play some soca music tonight workout now I'm about to get up in that tub I'm about to draw my bath get in the tub and then eat something light for dinner I think what I'm gonna eat tonight I've made some curry chicken out some curry chicken yesterday I think I'm gonna eat that again with some cabbage steamed cabbage for dinner I th oh, I had that for lunch. I showed y'all my lunch. I'm going to eat the same thing for dinner. I, I really love curry chicken. And that chicken came out so tasty. So I'm going to eat that again. And then after that, I'm going to pick out what I'm wearing for work tomorrow. Maybe I'll show you guys that. But I'm tired. I'm about to go take my bath and then eat my food. You don't need to see all of that. Definitely not showing you in, in, me in the tub. I, you know, I know some people... Like to show you guys all of that, them get putting their feet in the tub and they showing them naked legs and all of this. But just imagine me submerging my ass in the tub. Ah, oh, nice hot tub, Epsom salt in the water, little bath oil in the water. Me with no clothes on in the tub. There you go. See it? Good. Once again, it's on. You see what I'm in? I'm in my workout gear. So, what time is it? It's jump rope time. I'm going to show y'all a little bit of these jumps. And then, the next time you see me is when class start. Today, it's Thursday. I went to work. I did not vlog at work. Because, I told y'all, all I do at work is work on the computer go to lunch, come back. I might have a meeting or two. And then it's the end of the day. And y'all seen that yesterday, so I didn't vlog today. Um, Yeah, so let's get these jumps done. And then the next time I see you is in class. I love Thursday class, because Thursday is throwback. And today we going down south. We going to the ATL. So let's get it. It's Friday and I'm working from home today. I am 
I just wanted to check in with you guys. This video is kind of basic, but I don't, I don't have much going on this morning. I'm just working. I just wanted to check in. So I'm going to catch you guys at lunchtime. All right. So yesterday, I didn't. I hate when, when I watch vlogs and people be like, I didn't vlog all day, but I didn't, right? So I think it's important to at least acknowledge that. But guys, I am on my way. I'm on my way to the gym. I haven't been to the physical gym in a minute. But now that... I finished my Fit Camp program, and as you guys know, I'm continuing my journey to lose 40 pounds. Um, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. For six weeks, I just did jump rope as my cardio, and that worked really well. Like, as you know, I lost 20.2 pounds in six weeks, and that was great and it was convenient and i think it really i do that during fit camp because my time is very limited like i'm doing live virtual workouts and my classes are about an hour maybe sometimes a little bit over an hour but my classes are at least an hour long from stretch to stretch like we stretch in the beginning of the class and we stretch at the end of the class and, you know, we work out throughout, you know, in between. Um, but, yeah, so the class is about an hour. And then, you know, so I have to be, obviously, I'm on camera for that hour. And then, like, my prep work and then my prep work with food, like, making sure all of my meals are prepared and all of that. It's just so much easier for me to knock out cardio by just doing jump rope. And because jump rope, you know, you burn a lot of calories in a short amount of time. But now that I'm on my own and I'm doing, I'm continuing my journey and I kind of want to rev it up a little bit. I am going, I'm going back to doing gym on the weekends, um, like Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to take out with me. And then after the gym, I'm going to go do my nails and toes. I get my nails and toes done year round. I'm not just, well, nails, of course, but toes too. Um, I might do my toes once a month during the winter as opposed to like every two weeks. But in the summertime, it's, it's every two weeks. Okay. <laughs> so... Because you're going to be wearing them sandals. And you never know when you're going to have to put on some sandals. And I want my toes to be done. So, I keep them done during the summer. For sure. In the winter, they might grow out a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. But not in, not in the summertime. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'm on my way there now. To the gym. I'm going to do 30 minutes of cardio on the ARC trainer. And then I'm going to complete my jumps at the gym. And then, um, I think today, I might do some, I don't know. I don't know. It depends on how crowded the gym is and where I can fit in. I don't really plan my workouts because I have it all up here, like what I can do. I'm not one of those that like do a plan beforehand. I like to go to the gym and see how crowded it is and see where I can fit in and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do from there. That's how I do it. So, see y'all at the gym.
I just did 800 jumps and 30 minutes of cardio. I think, and my plank. I did a plank as well. I think I'm done. I think I'm gonna leave. I was gonna do weights too, and the gym is pretty empty, but what I'm learning is you don't have to go crazy in the gym every single time you come. Like some people might think what I did was crazy. I did 800 jumps. I did 100 jumps with this heavy rope you see around my neck. And then the rest of the jumps I did with my regular speed rope. Um, and then I did 30 minutes on the art trainer. I love doing the art trainer. And that's it. Like, I feel good. I did a plank. I did a one minute plank at the end. So, I feel great. I'll be back tomorrow. I need to come early because I got to tackle this hair tomorrow. So I'm going to wash my hair tonight and then I'm doing my own hair um, tomorrow for my trip. Because I don't want to leave it until like during the week because during the week my weeks are hectic. So yeah. Anyway. I'm out. I'm gonna come tomorrow morning, and tomorrow I'll probably just do my jumps, and then I'll do weights tomorrow. I'll do upper body, or maybe I'll do a full body workout with the bar. Yeah, I'll probably do that, and I'm gonna do that tomorrow when I come in. All right, y'all, so let's get out of here. Let's go. Let me go wash my hands. I always wash my hands before I leave here. Nails, I forgot. Maybe I should go get a smoothie. Hmm. Hmm.